All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers in tonight's video, 18 to 10 road victory against the Atlanta Falcons, one of the most hyped up teams of the entire offseason, rightfully so, brand new head coach, couple of coordinators coming in, obvious Kirk Cousins making his Falcons debut, and the Pittsburgh Steelers defense put on an absolute master class, and obviously they started a backup quarterback in Justin Fields. Now, I don't want to hear anything down below in the comment section like we did in week one. Yes, Justin Fields is the backup quarterback because he was named the backup quarterback to Russell Wilson. We'll get to that in just a second because the Steelers are preparing to start Justin Fields at QB versus the Broncos, according to Mike Tomlin, due to Russell Wilson's injury. Now, I just want to say once again, Justin Fields is a starting caliber quarterback, but technically on the depth chart, he was number two. So the point just is, Tomlin starts a backup QB. They did not score a touchdown. The Steelers won. Chris Boswell tied the team record. He came too short of tying the NFL record with six field goals. He was the emergency punter in the fourth quarter. Justin Fields once again started in place of Russell Wilson and his injured calf. Did plenty to get this victory um, considering they got into scoring position a multitude of different times and we'll get into all that nitty gritty. 57 yards rushing, 156 yards passing, and now you've got a road game against the Denver Broncos this upcoming Sunday. Folks, before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with a bunch of Steelers videos every single week. I do want to say really quickly, I just moved from Fort Myers to the Dunedin area a little bit, what is it, west of Tampa. My point is, Comcast slash Xfinity does not apparently offer Wi-Fi services in this neck of the woods, so we are doing something completely different if you notice it sounds completely different. So thank you for your patience, uh, but let's get into it. Once again, the Steelers are preparing to start Justin Fields at quarterback first the Denver Broncos this upcoming weekend. Um, this is according to Mike Tomlin, and this was yesterday. And he said this quote, as we sit here today, we're preparing as if Justin is our starting quarterback. And I just want to say Russ technically was limited in practice today, but you could say the same thing about last week. Um, it's not looking good, but once again, I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, he's got a fighting chance. Like, I just think because they named Russell Wilson the starting quarter, or I guess they technically didn't, but they said they're planning as if it's Justin Fields on Sunday. I'm kind of under the assumption that he's going to be the starting quarterback, and I think this is a really good thing. This past weekend, he completed 17 to 23 passes for 156 yards, but he also ran 14 times for 57 yards. So statistically, the Steelers ran almost twice as many running plays at 41 as opposed to passing plays at 23. Arthur Smith, his bread and butter is the running department, but he called confidence boosting throws, like very short passes, especially early on in the football game. Just three of field 17 completions went for more than 10 yards. But then obviously you had that 33 yard deep ball to George Pickens late in the first half. You also had the second half hit for 40 yards. And then there was also a 36 yarder with, I think it was a couple of minutes left in the first half, but the play was overturned due to offensive pass interference. And you guys ran up my comment section from Sunday's video. Yes, the, the officiating was terrible, but especially in week one, I'm anticipating the officiating to be terrible. I feel like they come in with certain guidelines and the NFL basically kind of like pinpoints a couple of things to like, you know, really keep an eye on. And I just feel like they get a little too trigger happy, but I watched pretty much every single football game from this past week one and Pittsburgh, I hate to be anti-refs uh but they definitely got shafted on a couple of those plays but one then again like a lot of teams did but at the end of the day they still came down with victory they dominated time of possession pretty much 36 to atlanta's 24 they had drives of 10 plays 10 plays 8 plays 9 plays 13 plays and they also ran the ball for 137 yards against the Atlanta Falcons defense. But the big winner to me, like I'm not concerned with Justin Fields or Russ Wilson. I put out a tweet on Sunday. I think you, I think Pittsburgh was, I don't want to say down in that football game. I don't know if they were down. Yeah, they were down. It was sometime in the first or second quarter. And I pretty much just tweeted like, 
you can deploy whoever the hell you want at QB. Pittsburgh's defense will still easily get them to an above 500 record. And I love Justin Fields. I love Russell Wilson. I think they're both adequate quarterbacks in this system. I think, honestly, probably Justin Fields suits it a little bit better in Arthur Smith's system. But my point just is, man, this defense got better. In the second half, the Falcons offense had the ball six times. Their longest series of those six plays, or those six drives, was five plays. Five plays. Twice, they went three and out. Twice, the Steelers turned the Falcons over, and the other two were a five-play series at the end of the game. Two of the turnovers from the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, Dante Jackson, new acquisition in that Dante Johnson trade, and safety Deshaun Elliott. Folks, last year, the Steelers were the sixth best defense in scoring I don't know why that number this upcoming season will not be top. I was going to say three, but I'll be I'll be generous to the rest of the NFL. Top five. All right. Now, getting to some unfortunate news. Here is the injury report from earlier today. Isaac Siamalu did not practice pectoral injury and then left tackle Dan Moore suffered an ankle injury. This really sucks because Tomlin noted on Tuesday that Dan Moore, the starting left tackle, was dealing with an ankle injury. He's officially earned a DNP for the practice, or the first practice of the week, I should say, that was today. So the offensive line they ripped today, Broderick Jones at left tackle, Spencer Anderson at left guard, Zach Frazier at center, James Daniel at right guard, and Troy Fautanu, yes, Troy Fautanu at right tackle. So Nick Farbaugh of Penn Live noted that Broderick Jones, the second-year offensive tackle, got reps at his normal position, left tackle earlier today, and we saw Troy Fautanu, like we just mentioned, getting the first team reps at right tackle. Left guard, Isaac Siamalu, he's got that pec injury that we just mentioned. He was planned to miss about a month. He is yet to return to practice, so most likely uh, that position will be Spencer Anderson once again at left guard. In his NFL starting debut last week against Atlanta, he allowed two pressures. Unfortunately, both quarterback hits in 29 passing reps. So the big thing to me is not quarterback play. It's simply offensive line. And it's not offensive line talent. It just simply comes down to offensive line depth. And then finally, some good news. Starting Steelers offensive tackle left guard, or sorry, left tackle, Dan Moore was actually graded as the third best pass blocker in week one. Zach Frazier, rookie debut, also really made an impact. And I think he's just kind of the, bre or I should say the glue that is holding this offensive line right now together. But once again, guys are stepping up. I know it wasn't perfect and it's not going to be perfect ever, but it is what it is and you just kind of got to deal with it. Injuries happen. Offensive line injuries are the worst, but folks, I watched that Bears-Broncos games last year. I know the Bears ended up losing that game, but Justin Fields looked really good against this defense. It is revamped. It's a different defense, but... Um, I'm feeling good with Justin Fields if he's the starting quarterback for week two against this Denver Broncos team. That's it for today. Sorry it was a little weird, different atmosphere. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Peace.